hack that will actually help you pass any transcription test. This is Teso Gamba. Most of you have asked me what you need to do to pass a transcription test, whether you've asked about Vabit transcription test, Transcribe Me transcription test, Scribe, QA Wild, Go Transcript, and I have always told you guys to follow the guidelines. And the guidelines are your Bible, by the way, when it comes to transcription, transcription tests, and even producing high quality transcripts once you get accepted onto those platforms you're trying to get into. In addition to the guidelines, there are hacks I use when I'm trying to pass a transcription test. These are actually the tricks I use to pass the Vabi transcription test, to pass transcribe me transcription test, and all the other transcription tests I have actually passed in the past. And today I'm going to share them with you. I'm actually very excited for this video because I know if you follow each and every one of them or some of them, you are actually going to pass the transcription test you're trying to pass. So let's get started. The first thing I do when I am working on a transcription test is I transcribe the first 30 to 45 seconds. So let's say you're working on verbit transcription test. They usually give you an already transcribed transcript. So what you do is to edit it. So what I will do is I will edit the first 30 to 45 seconds. And if it's someone who's emailed me a transcription test, I will do the same. I will just transcribe the first 30 to 45 seconds and then copy that text, what I have transcribed or edited, paste it in google search so what this does is you want to see has this been done before people post these transcripts on course hero you can actually find a website with a transcript maybe the whole of it you know just a quarter of it half of it or you get that particular audio on youtube this is actually what i did when i was doing verbit transcription test when i applied for verbit i just transcribed the first 30 to 45 seconds and then pasted that text in google and then found there are people who have transcribed that audio so i got a transcript on course hero so if you have a course hero account then you might be able to access the whole transcript that is if whatever you're looking for has already been done before for most of these transcription test audios they've been done before and you'll actually find the transcripts on google on course hero there's also a probability for you to find the audio on youtube i know you're asking yourself the audio does not help me yes it does because if you find it on youtube then you might actually actually get subtitles for that audio if you enable youtube subtitles you know the cc the ones that just appear when you're watching a youtube video you'll be able to decipher words that maybe you are not able to hear so that also helps now if you get a transcript online maybe you're looking for this audio you get the transcript that does not mean that you copy that transcript and paste it. No, you don't do that. You use that transcript to produce a high quality transcript. What I will do is I will be transcribing. And then if I don't hear something, if I don't hear a phrase, a word, I'll go to this other transcript that I found on Google and see what did this person hear. Because most of the time, even those transcripts that you found on Course Hero, they have mistakes. That is if someone who sat down and transcribed, but there's something they had that you will not hear or something they had right that you will hear wrong so something you had right they had wrong so i uh, you just use that particular transcript as a way to counter check your work but if you find the transcript you have found online is mostly accurate then it's okay to just copy paste it and then you edit it and please when you're doing the editing take that particular process seriously because if you mess up and end up assuming whatever you have found on the transcript online is the right thing you will fail and honestly you won't have anyone else to blame. The second hack I use that you can also use to pass whichever transcription test you're trying to pass is to use automatic transcription software. Take this with a pinch of salt because I know I have talked against automatic transcription software a lot of times, especially when it comes to beginner transcriptionists. But if you use it wisely, it can actually help you. So if you're able to download the audio, if the audio has been sent to you by email, if it's on a platform, you can use IDM or whatever else you use to download audios online you download this audio and then you upload it on water.ai you upload it on trends on temi you can even upload the audio on all those platforms so what you want to do is to just let the transcription software transcribe this particular audio for you so let's say i upload the audio on water i upload the same audio on temi i upload the same audio on trends actually this is my best hack do you know why because temi will transcribe the audio you know 
know according to the software whatever alter will transcribe it according to its level of accuracy and then Trint will do the same so what you do is just compare these three transcripts there's definitely something that Temi got that Otter didn't get there's something that Temi will not get but Trint will get you see so this is how you make sure your transcript is as accurate as possible what you'll do once you have uploaded this audio onto those platforms you can even just use one if you want but personally i just use like three of them so that i can compare the transcript and then you take the one that is the most accurate so if you decide the author one is the most accurate paste it in a word document or whatever you're trying to transcribe just be aware that some platforms don't allow you to copy and paste but if you're working on a platform that actually allows you to copy and paste then you can simply just copy paste it and then now work on the counter checking and the proofreading works like magic you know you don't transcribe now what you do is just counter check and proofread and you're not just proofreading from what you're hearing you're also proofreading from what Trint had what Temi had what Otter had isn't that beautiful so at the end of the day you'll have a transcript that's like 99.9 percent .9 accurate which is the acceptable accuracy level for most platforms so let's say you've googled the audio you found the transcript on google and then you upload this audio on Otter on Temi on Trint and these other automatic transcription platforms the ones you have access to whether you're using the free version paid version i honestly don't know which one you'll use but now imagine you'll have four transcripts to compare just four transcripts to use to make sure you produce a high quality transcript if you use these methods i don't think you're going to fail that test if you actually make use of each and every transcript you have at your disposal plus your listening skills and your research skills i don't think there's a chance you will fail the test unless that platform is not onboarding more transcribers and i still have more tricks for you so once you've googled this particular audio uploaded this particular audio to automatic transcription softwares now you have a working transcript now you want to use a software called grammarly so grammarly will help you with your punctuation it will help you with some spellings it will help you a lot especially when it comes to grammar remember what we always say on this channel transcription and grammar they are sisters not even cousins they are siblings blood so grammarly will come through for you when it comes to punctuations and spellings and sometimes filler words depending on how you use it and depending on the audio you're trying to transcribe so you have a working transcript that you have counter checked using this transcript we've talked about in the first and the second hack so now you want to upload that particular transcript or to use grammarly if you have grammarly installed in word then all you have to do is to enable grammarly and let grammarly pinpoint the areas you're supposed to change if you do not have grammarly installed in word why don't you install it google grammarly for word download the extension add it if you're not able to you can just go to grammarly.com and then upload the particular transcript you're trying to counter check to proofread but just copy and paste it onto grammarly and let grammarly do its job it will pinpoint the areas you're supposed to change or the areas you should change focus mostly on punctuation the commas the full stops the question marks also focus on the spellings spellings of words like iphone textbook common words that maybe you don't know the spellings to if it's a spelling of someone's name then you want to make sure you research that before you use grammarly to change it grammarly also indicates the filler words you're supposed to remove so if you're supposed to transcribe clean verbatim or clean verbatim depending on how you pronounce that then you really want to get rid of the filler words and grammarly most of the time identifies the filler words for you but remember this is not a hundred percent it will not identify all the filler words some filler words you just have to use just read the statements and try to see what is a filler word what is not you know grammarly it's all about grammar and in transcription you're not supposed to change the speaker's text make sure you're not changing speaker's text using grammarly or changing sentence structure and just making it so conspicuous that you actually changed the speaker's text so be very careful with what you're changing grammarly that's why i'm suggesting you just change punctuations spellings and filler words the other thing you can use to correct your grammar punctuation spelling and all that is the inbuilt proof checker when you go to the menu and click on review you'll get the proofread and checker i mean the spelling and grammar checker 
for word. So when you just enable that, it will also identify some areas that you're supposed to change. I love that because sometimes it also picks on double spaces, picks on punctuations, picks on spellings and all that. So what I usually do is I use the grammar checker first for word. Then I change the things that it highlights for me. Of course, I don't change everything. Some things that they want you to change should remain the transcript. Once I've changed everything with the grammar checker for word, now I will enable Grammarly and then do final touches for the things that they review the grammar checker for word they didn't identify things like the filler words and all that. Once you've corrected your spelling and grammar and you've proofread your transcript using this other transcript that you are using, now you want to make sure the transcript is as neat as possible. And this one, by the way, it doesn't matter whether you are transcribing on Word or you are working on a platform like Verbit. Like, just make sure the transcript is very neat. You know, paragraph it. Don't put everything in one paragraph. A paragraph should have like what three to five sentences. So make sure you've put the text in paragraphs. If you were to add speaker labels, make sure all speakers are labeled well and the speaker labels are where they should be. If you are putting timestamps, also make sure that the timestamps are visible and they just neat. So in short, make sure the transcript is very neat and well spaced. Don't have double spaces. Don't have the whole text in one paragraph. Don't put speaker labels everywhere. Don't put timestamps. They're so hidden in the text. You can't even know where the timestamp is. Make sure your work is very neat. When you send someone a very neat transcript, you don't even get the strength to start reviewing that, like to start going through that transcript word by word because someone who is extremely neat, that shows that you are actually someone who pays attention to details. And so if you got some part of the content wrong, you know, just maybe a word or a spelling or anything, you might actually get away with it because your transcript is so neat. It does not give someone the ammunition to go and start going through the content of the transcript, at least not all of it. So make sure your transcript is neat. If you just send a transcript that's like, everything is everywhere, someone's like, oh, this person cannot even arrange his or her work. Probably she didn't even take time to listen to what the speaker was saying and get the words accurately. Don't make the reviewer go to that extent. Give them a reason to accept you or give them a reason to approve you even if you have a few mistakes. The final hack that will actually help you pass any transcription test. So you have used Otter. Yes, that's good. You have Googled Awesome. Grammarly Awesome. Proofreading and, you know, the grammar checker for word awesome you've made sure the transcript is very neat that's awesome now the last thing you have to do is to listen to the audio while you're reading what you have transcribed you want to make sure that i wrote the right thing there i typed the right thing here this is the spelling here you just want to make sure that everything is in place that is the whole purpose of proofreading and this proofreading you're not using any software you're not using grammarly you're not using water you're using your ears the audio and the text correcting mishears and all that that final proofreading process is very very important and very critical and by the way it has saved me a lot of rejections so be sure to do the final proofreading before clicking submit so do let me know if these hacks are helpful if you use them let me know if you get in if you pass that transcription test you have been trying to pass i wish you all the best and by the way if you've not watched any of my previous videos on transcription jobs content writing jobs verbi trans transcription jobs, scripty and all that, be sure to click on any of these playlists, whether it's this one or this one, and you'll get the value you're looking for. And if you want to get more content and more information and lessons that are based on my experience as a professional transcriptionist with four years of experience, and you want to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you never miss any of my very informative video, it's been a pleasure. See you in my next video.